home for their flights, whatever. They're still making it out, getting this good practice. Yeah. Um, especially for Pound 2, like you were saying. Which, which, where is that being held? Uh, Pound exactly? is going to be held, of course, in the classic of all classic areas, the MDVA. It's going to be held at okay. the, uh, so check it out there, Pound. I don't even know what number of Pound they're in. There's so many Pounds, but of course, our SoCal commentary to GG Korean will be out there providing his beautiful one Rose voice and as well as knowledge on the mic. So don't miss it. It's coming out this weekend. Uh, immediately, uh, speaking of this weekend, let's go ahead into this week. It is going to be Magister rocking out. Incineroar. Mm -hmm. All right. I always love seeing Incineroar, oh, man, too. They bring the hype. And they bring the sure. sauce. Because he definitely saw where Zale was looking to recover. Yeah, that's the thing about Incineroar that he definitely has. Um, his recovery options... He has good recovery options, but unfortunately, like they're just not great ones. Yeah, and they're kind of they kind of limit, they kind of limits him as a character, mm -hmm. and he's slow as well. But I mean, Incineroar is scary, especially if they play play it right and they're not making as many mistakes too. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna die at 80. Yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna <laughs> happen. And right now, he just that Razor Leaf. He just downbeat that and got revenge for free. And immediately, they all got that. <laughs> Why is it almost for free? He said, hey, hold up. If you're going to go ahead and cash in the free coupon, I'm going to go ahead and cash in the stock. Yeah, no, Revenge is scary, and you're definitely, we're gonna, definitely going to be seeing him um, using it for the Razor Leaf. Just kind of yeah. like a free um, Revenge for him. There he goes. Another opportunity. I like the fact that Magistry takes time to get the Revenge off the Razor Leaf, allowing him to start going for stronger hits. Holy so moly. when he sees the Analog or gets a Whip Punch against Zale, it's pretty good. And immediately Fire-type versus Fire-type. One thing about... Incineroar that you have to respect is that right there, Dead. the clothesline. What? Actually, the fact that Charizard was mid-stage and the weight actually helped out in that situation. All right, now he's dead. And actually, Magister not too bad at a deficit here. Only 26%. Yeah. Um, all right, okay. Gonna risky revenge there, because that's definitely going to put him in a lot of lag. That move is very laggy. Down throw um, to forward. Down air, okay. Wow, he went for it. Yeah, usually we see that down throw into forward air there, but he wanted to mix it up, and he was going, he was just, he was going to do it. And it was really good, because the position he was, had, where he had Zale off the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, a good option, because he covered up the fact that he missed the vine whip, and he immediately saw Magister trying to go over him, possibly for a cross-up in the air. Man, you gotta watch out, that, that up air from Ivasaur looking like a spear bomb. Oh, that's scary. Okay, that, that's um, the bullet seed move, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was... Interesting option. Maybe he thought he was going to... Could have been an accident. But. It could have been a misinput, but it's also pretty good to get some solid percent there in the neutral catch your opponent. It does catch you, actually. Mm -hmm. It's one of those moves that it's like, wait, that touched me? Like, <laughs> how did that bring me up? <laughs> right? You ask yourself, like, hold on, why did I actually just get hit by, like, one of the weirdest moves in the game? All right, we've seen uh, Zayo actually do that twice, where on those ledge options there, he'll just oh. get up a change and switch. Ooh. Is that it's a down tilt? Yeah. Um, and it's good because, oh, I'm sorry, it looked like it was back air. And for Charizard, he actually still has a sweet spot on the back air. And it's got oh, a little bit. Oh, was his back air? Sorry, I, I missed it. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. I mean, like we said, man, you blinking, you might miss it. You managed to definitely blank, and he, he missed it because he missed the whole ledge entirely. I was looking at Incineroar, mm -hmm. actually, and then I was like, because it happened so fast, it was like that tail, the mm -hmm. whole t tail swipe, it kind of like looked similar yeah. for a moment there, and I didn't get to see it. That was fast backer than Charizard's uh, backer actually does come out fast, even though he's a slow character. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about Charizard, he's actually faster than Incineroar. Incineroar is. <laughs> is actually like one of the slowest characters in the game, him and uh, Piranha Plant. Yeah, if they actually buff his like speed, Incineroar is going to be like crazy. Yeah, he could probably be maybe like the lower end of high tier if he like just buff his speed a little bit. It's sort of got some crazy stuff. I mean, he's got intangibility on some of his his arms and legs when he goes for smash attacks. And he's so, a spot dodge down smash too. Yep. And what? alongside with Ridley, those are pretty powerful. <laughs> They're scary. They're mad scary. Well, here's the pick of the night, man. Nobody made the ban for the new Lila, Ooh. so let's go ahead and go into Yoshi's Island. We knew it was coming eventually. Mm -hmm. We always see it. Every few people bring out Yoshi's Island. It's one of those, like I told you, it's like those care, like those few people. Sorry, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> Who mm -hmm. like to like utilize this stage because a lot of people don't like playing on it and avoid yeah. it. So then they feel comfortable playing on this stage because a lot of people don't. I mean, clearly, like hey, don't worry about it. I mean, I tell people if, if you like the stage, go for it. I mean, you got smaller blast zones. That's kind of what you allow for. Less less opportunities for zoners because they have yeah. to respect that the blast zones are smaller. 
no, I actually think it's a really good pick for Incineroar as well because not only will he try, like we saw earlier, he was doing the down tilt because it kind of like angles downward. So he's going to try to catch you with that down tilt uh, to bring you up vertically to maybe get like a back air or something to kill you off the side of the ledge there. And, um, ooh, that was a good option. There's the back air. That was so strong. I sure looking to catch up here. Oh no, but it's stuck in the shield and immediately Zale able to get those jabs. Spaced back air. Okay, his <laughs> back air just like negated the side beat. Oh, going in for that dash attack. Mm -hmm. but There's the back throw. Zale looking for the edge guard opportunity. Tries to go for the down air. And it's a good opportunity for him to go for it there because he knows Magister has only one recovery option there. So it's good for him to get him, but that up air going to take it away from Zale. Magister even stocks, but not percents. Man, Zale's getting that a lot. Razor Leaf is just such good projectile. Confirms into a lot. Okay, going for that revenge too. But yeah, he has to be careful because it is risky and it is a laggy move. Yeah, and even speaking of risk, I mean, you should have saw the risk there when he went for the MP hop to the up air. Mm -hmm. Zale kind of showed him off like, hold on, if I'm MP hopping here, you might miss an opportunity to get a punish on me or to get away from one of my punishes on you. Is this your water or my water? You know, I don't even know. Okay. Sorry, I was like, <laughs> struggling to talk earlier because my throat was starting to like. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, if your if your throat is starting to mess up here, Meister's looking up. Throat definitely has, has been messing up here because he's so far <laughs> feeling the heat. Oh, and he even missed the clothesline. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I actually, I think I believe that he missed the clothesline because when you're playing like he like bigger characters, it's mm -hmm. a little more difficult to time it because you have to do it slightly earlier. Ooh. Yeah, man, speaking of timing, he missed the timing on the grab. I'm telling you, man, if, if you need a water, Meister <laughs> needed it. 